I do not want to have to light a fire. It's too early. Well, the storm is here. There's snow in the mountains. I'll show you that in just a minute. And it's kind of miserable, it's kind of cold. Summer is coming to a close, but uh, this is a little bit colder than we wanted it to be. A little more wet, a little, like I said, just kind of miserable. The house is warm, but it's not our nice, comfortable 69 or 70 degrees that we're used to. And I'm thinking of building a fire and realizing that we don't have enough firewood. Let me show you what we have. Oh, but first here, you can kind of see in the distance, right up there, that the higher parts of the mountains around us have gotten snow. Okay, it's kind of neglected, this whole area, because I haven't had to think about it really. I don't, I don't want to say I'm unprepared, but this is not the amount of wood that I'm used to having. I'm used to having this like full on, you know, leaning against the wall here. That's how it was. And I haven't gotten a lot of new wood. And I've, I have gotten some coal, got some good deals. This was free, that's a really good deal. So I, I'm confident that with our rocket mass heater that we'll be able to survive the winter and be plenty warm with this amount of wood. But I don't like being that close. It's kind of like, you know, knowing that you can make it to the next town on your eighth of a tank of gas. But do you want to really cut it that close? I don't. <laughs> we didn't really think about gathering wood when we should have because it's almost like our biological clocks or whatever are ticking along day to time during the warm weather. And when a certain number of warm days have passed, then we think, oh, it's time to go get firewood. And we just sort of didn't get to that point yet. <laughs> I'm glad we have firewood. Again, with the rocket mass heater, we'll be fine. If it was a normal wood stove, this would be far, far too little. But, uh, so I'm very grateful that we found out about rocket mass heater and rocket stove technology. All right, uh, go back inside and see what the kids are up to. All right. So we're still in the middle of canning <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. <laughs> I can't complain, but when I lose sight, I get a little overwhelmed. When you count your undone list, you can get overwhelmed. So I need to count my already have done list and what I used to not have. I used to have zero tomatoes. I thought, honestly, just a few weeks ago, I thought I was going to get no tomato harvest. So I have to like, <laughs> Go back into that mindset, and then I can be grateful for these, but they sure feel bossy right now. <laughs> <laughs> these are bossy tomatoes, aren't they? <laughs> They're telling me what to do. Look at all these. We've, we've canned how many? I mean, there's a there's a bunch down there that we just finished up. And you that there's flies, and you're like, where's the one that's broken? <laughs> what do we have? About 36 quarts so far, and another, well, I'm just looking at the ones that are red and like ready to go right now, probably another. <laughs> This I don't know. I'm guessing another right, 12. And so I'm worried the ones at the bottom are like... Oh yeah, you're right. And every day that goes by, they're getting squishier and squishier. I'll, I'll pick up a tomato and all of a sudden... <laughs> it looks like it's corn cobs on the table. That's funny. <laughs> we just haven't even had time to do dishes or anything because we're just... They're just bossy just, tomatoes. Yeah, just doing... Just trying to get them safely stored away. And I love that we still have hundreds of tomatoes on, the, on our lambskin. I just started cleaning skin. them up. I picked up all the green ones and put them in the bowl over here on the blue cabinet. Yeah. It's oh, crazy. I, I noticed it looks different. Oh, I just love it. I want our house to be like this all the time. There's plants and that's actually really pretty, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I love they're kind of iridescent. Pretty. Huh, so much color, so much texture in our house right now. Cute kitty. Is this one Crookshanks? Or what's the other one's name? This one has the Eye of Sauron on the back. So that's so the this girl. This is the girl, and her name is Pumpkin. Pumpkin. You can tell how much time I spend calling the cats by name. Uh, I see them all the time, kitty. and I love them. That's what they're called. This is kitty number three. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Even my favorite little kitty that always joins me outside, I never call her by name. Her name, what is her name? Peppermint. Peppermint, that's right. She's kitty. Just kitty. Kitty. <laughs> with, all this, with our floor looking like this and all these plants and animals everywhere, we can tell everybody that we like raised our kids in a barn. Because yeah. we were harvested, it was nighttime. And so we just threw it, you know? <laughs> and so it's like, mm. and then the broom got lost. It's, it's been great. We have yet to recover from this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, cute, huh? Emmy's showing me. Oh, yeah. See, Halloween is what she just said. Halloween. Halloween pumpkins? Yeah. It's so cool, isn't it? You guys see all these? This big pile. Actually, oh, wait, that's a, that's a skull. <laughs> that's Alex's um, Halloween skull. He likes anatomy. <laughs> so, this is one of our. Piles. I just love that we got all these great big spaghetti squash, or sorry, those are spaghetti squash. These banana squash, and some beautiful little kind of flat Cinderella pumpkins. And this appears to be a Cinderella pumpkin crossed with a spaghetti squash. And I showed you those outside, but just having them indoors kind of shows the perspective, I guess, or you know, how big they are. It's so much fun to have this much food from our garden, and this isn't even half of it, literally. Um, the other half is in my in my art room. I'll, I'll show you. Uh, baby, baby, that's one of the paintings that I'll never ever sell. I love that one. Halloween. Halloween pumpkins. More of them, huh? This is our collection of antique um, windows that we don't have a place for now, but um, of course we're gonna make a place for them because who wouldn't want antique windows, right? Halloween. We're gonna find a place for them. So, we have bananas in our house again. Emmy wants another one. She's on her fourth one today. <laughs> we haven't gone to the grocery store for quite a while now. It seems like, feels like weeks. Because we've had so much food from our garden that we've just eaten what has come out of the garden. Lots of tomatoes. <laughs> lots of, uh, yeah, lots of tomatoes. <laughs> lots of squash, lots of corn. And it's been amazing, but we finally got bananas again, so it's uh, a, a delicacy right now. Hot item, yeah, exactly. So today is just one of those days, I guess. I'm contemplating whether I should chop wood, and I'm contemplating how much I need to go get more wood, and I don't like those thoughts <laughs> at all. <laughs> but right now, it's just not time. I don't think I'm gonna light the fire. I'm gonna try to save that for when we need it more because I think we're gonna get more sunshine and the, the sunroom through the, you know, behind that window, the other side, will start doing its job and heating up the house. Hopefully we won't actually have to use um, much wood because of that. Anyway, we really appreciate, appreciate you guys. And uh, if any of you want to support us, uh, go to the link below, patreon.com forward slash art and homesteading. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go paint and we'll see you Tomorrow. Bye. What? Snow. Snow? You've got snow pants, huh? How do you like this weather? You haven't really gone outside today, huh? I don't remember. <laughs> it's kind of too cold to. I don't like our weather. Yeah, I don't like it either. It's actually pretty warm compared to how it will be in just a month.